Yards and gardens are often extensions of their owners' personalities. Decorations can range from the functional, to the whimsical, to the extreme. Welcome to Bobville, population two. This North Idaho backyard project is the pride of owners Bob and Linda Ashcraft. Bobville has a church, a general store, a mill, the saloon, a boarding house, and a cabin. Bob Ashcraft is an engineer with a background in construction, and his wife Linda is an artist. They share a love for Old West towns, and in 2002, they decided to build a town of their own. Well, Bobville originated with uh, my wife wanting a pond built in her backyard, which at that time had no landscaping at all, just a little bit of grass. And so when we constructed the first pond, she really didn't like the way the backdrop looked looking into our horse yard, which was pretty much devoid of anything except trees. I wanted a fence, a new fence, and I didn't want it to be like anybody else's. It had to be colorful. And I got to play it around the computer one day and took a bunch of houses and stuck them in the photo of my backyard and showed them to Bob and went from there. My role in, in creating Bobville is, is pretty much, my wife would come up with an idea and I'd say, well, you know, that's really too hard to do it that way. Maybe we could do it this way. There are times when I want it to look a certain way and he doesn't and we argue and then he usually does it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's pretty mutual. It's pretty mutual. Bob and Linda built their town pretty much by themselves. Their mutual creativity can be seen in both the functional aspects and in the finishing touches. For instance, some of the storefronts give the illusion of being full-size buildings, thanks to an artistic technique called tromploy, meaning trick of the eye. Inside the mercantile, I have painted a tromploy scene of the inside of an old general store, probably 18... 90s general store and if you stand back it looks as if the room is maybe 16 by 20 when it's only four feet deep. Bobville is a combination of facades and actual buildings like Ruby's Saloon. We came up with the idea of having a bar that we could actually go into if, if the weather was bad. And uh, that, was the that was the first building, the full-scale building that we built. The saloon and the neighboring boarding house are real buildings that feature all the comforts of Old West establishments. Bob and Linda have also been creative when it comes to keeping construction costs down. And my wife is always scrounging for whatever good buys. Uh, garage sales, people will have something they're throwing away and uh, we could use that for this. As far as the cost of Bobville, majority of it has, is either uh, found, given, or donated. There's very little that we actually spent. Thriftiness was also part of the inspiration for Bobville's newest building, the Log Cabin. We had some used lumber from uh, my son-in-law. His father had torn down a cabin, so we can't let wood go to waste, and it was cabin lumber. So we decided to build a log cabin. The cabin was probably more his idea this time than any of them. Uh, where to put the rails and when to put them and, and I just kind of let him do his own thing. He worked all winter, every evening. Uh, we haven't been anywhere for quite a while. <laughs> Maybe you don't need to go anywhere when you have a western town in your own backyard. The whole thing has just been, you know, kind of an interesting journey and also the fact that we can do things together. And my wife does a lot of the painting and the designing and the computer animation. And I pound nails and build. And so we bid a fond farewell to the quaint little backyard town of Bobville, where the two residents work together and usually agree, and where the motto is, just because. Because people would ask us why we did this and why would we want to go to all this work? And for us, it was not work, it was pleasure, and it was just because.
If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.